Greetings and welcome to this awesome World of Tanks video. And yes, it's awesome. You'll see soon enough. So what you see here is my thresher. And well, as cool as it is, this video is not about my thresher at all. This is about my friend's thresher. And my friend Armored Wraith got online last night after work, and he was working on his long hauls. I knew he was. And so and after a while, I was like, well, you know, let me check in on him and see what's going on. So I checked on him. He's doing long hauls. And I said, well, you know, I'll do it with you, you know, if it'll make it less boring. He's like, oh, man, that would be so good because he just, you know, after work, it's really annoying and kind of boring just pounding out the stupid long haul missions for your car, right? I said, okay, so what do you want to do? He goes, he goes, he wants to do Thresher. I'm like, fine, I'll do artillery. Great. Well, that's a great combo for us. We we have terrific success with this combo. Now, we actually did some other ones as well. But the money makers, these are the money makers. And this is why these are the money makers. You know, I've made videos before like why do I do long haul missions in my sexton artillery and I do it in the sexton artillery I use the Panzer 38H and I use this Thresher as well because these all have 30% bonus commanders with a quick learner skill on the commanders for a 10% bonus, which makes a 30% commander a 40% commander. And they also have an enhanced rations for 10% experience bonus on the tank. So that makes that commander from a 30 to a 40 and then from a 40 to a 50. So the 50% bonus commanders every match. So every time we would normally earn a thousand commander experience, it's a thousand five hundred because it's fifty percent bonus. Okay, and so he's doing the same thing. He does. He has. I think he has actually the same girl in his thresher. The only difference is he doesn't have the pirate on the side. I have. These came from September when they had the when we had the pirate cards. Um. So I got the pirate thing there and I got the the skull and crossbones and so this is my pirate originally I had my Jolly Roger commander was in here with this pirate stuff but I mean since this this is an all dark gray slash black depending on you know how dark you set the settings of your console it's a pirate it's a pirate vehicle for me so let me show you something that uh, will make some sense. Okay, now this is a screenshot that I made right when I got on today because this is the last like 10 matches we played until he got his long haul card. And we were running various combinations of two Panzer 38 H's. We also ran his thresher and my artillery. We ran a little bit of double threshers and we ran some double T1 E6X. So, in fact, these are the T1 E6X. And you can see the airfield was a double thresher. That's my vehicle you're seeing. So, I had T1 E6X here, my thresher. And then another, you know, more T1 E6Xs my, and my Thresher again. And so that's 10 matches. That's that's eight and a half because the draw is a half a point. That's eight and a half out of 10. That's the kind of matches we were running. We were having, you know, strong success. Earlier on, though, we were running the combo of my artillery with his Thresher. This is the money maker. All right. Now the thing I was doing here with this is that this sexton is also a money maker. It makes physical silver. My 38H loses silver. 
my Thresher loses silver and my T1 E6X also loses silver. But I don't worry about it because I run a lot of missions in this one to make up for that silver. And I also will run separate Cold War missions with my sniper or my uh, some of my other tanks that have high silver bonuses, which includes my armadillo. So I, I what I do is I'll run specific missions just to build up silver to quote unquote pay for my ability to play for wins with my guys that lose silver. So when you use premiums on a 38H or an E6X or a Thresher, you're going to lose money, but we don't care. We're playing those matches to win at the fastest rate that we can because that's for long hauls, which, you know, ends up in a free card of free gold. And the free gold will equal a free tank eventually. So we spent most of the time running these missions. And what happened here is something I'm going to show you that's really special. This is what he had done before we joined forces last night. He told me he had gotten another 10 kill match with his Thresher. And he said this is his third one that he had. I said, you know, I've gotten 10 kills in a Thresher, but I don't even I don't know if I've gotten it twice and certainly not three times. So I'm like, wow, that's pretty awesome. You, you know, you just can't, uh, you can't uh, dismiss rolling a multiplayer match with a 10-kill game. That was absolutely fantastic. But wait, there's more. There actually is more, as crazy as that sounds. What you're seeing here is one of the hardest medals to get in the game. And that is the crucial contribution. And it's pretty straightforward. Platoon, two or three guys, have to destroy at least 12 of the 15 vehicles. So, yes. Within, we don't know exactly. He could look and find out. But within one or two hours of killing 10 guys in a game, this freak and I teamed up to kill 12 in a game. Which is awesome because it's super difficult to get this. Now, he and I have done this once before. But this was the first time I had ever done it in my sextant. The previous time, which was the first time he ever got this medal, was he and I were running double threshers. And we were in Himmelsdorf. But this time, he got, you know, the medal again with me running his thresher. But I was using my artillery. So I'm going to show you the game so you can see exactly why it was such an awesome game. Welcome to Ghost Town. This was... An incredibly dramatic game. Primarily because it was just exciting to begin with. But we had no idea what was going to happen. So this is a good place to start off. And I'll move if they make me. Get a good view. Especially down, if you look in the northwest corner of the map. I can see down there straight, and I can also see directly to the east, which is this way, down here if necessary. Also, tanks can come through the gap here by the building right over my gun. Here they are, our first catch of the day, as the saying goes. That is that freaking steward. Man, watch this guy. This guy is, this guy, is actually kind of awesome and I don't like the fact that he was kind of awesome 
This dude is after me like white on rice. And I'm trying to I'm trying to shoot this guy. And I just barely missing him. Close, but no cigar. I have to withdraw behind the berm so that he doesn't have these shots drilling me. So now here's the secret. In an artillery, when a midget is trying to come and get you, back up to a wall, a rock, something, so he cannot pass you behind you. He's in trouble, he doesn't realize it. He's in big trouble. You're in big trouble, you're dead. Secret from the pros, just like Shooter McGavin. So that's how you kill a light tank trying to butcher you if you're in an artillery. So now it's back to business. Now, as you may have seen, I wasn't really paying attention, but Captain Freakazoid is over there butchering people. There he got another one. He's shredding guys. Me, I mean, just we're just playing this as a this is a long haul match. We're just trying to finish this match, get him in the top seven to qualify for long haul. Now I've already done both of my long hauls, so I'm not worried about that. I'm playing to win. But our goal, our primary goal is to get him his credit for the long haul. And we're going to take a win on top of that because that's just who we are. You know, good shots that sometimes just don't hit. Man, that guy's almost dead. Nope just a bit outside negative the only thing about a replay here is I can't show you what it looks like through the actual uh, you know, artillery site got it that's two but wait there's more look at this genius here's another one I'm like oh man this, I told you this is exciting and dramatic. This guy, I used my viewer to get him with my artillery, so that didn't count as a shotgun like the M3 Stewart that I killed. I shotgunned him. If you get two shotgun kills, you'll get the Stark medal. I did not get the Stark medal because I am not Tony Stark. No, I'm just kidding. But that's okay. I don't mind. I got a better medal than the Stark medal. I mean, I got the Stark Medal many times, and I'll always take it as a nice-looking medal. But we're after a bigger game, not realizing. I'm thinking we're just trying to win this game, right? And I had already recognized that, hey, you know what? We had 10 kills, and that was 11 that he just got. And he's like, dude, we're running out of time. That was fantastic. So, I knew it was down to my last shot. I did not have time to make another reload. I told him those guys were capturing the base. He goes, You got to get this. You got to get, we got to get this last guy. And so I fired the shot that hit him the first time. And then on the reload, the shot I, the shots I hit him with, those two shots were easy shots because he was going as you looked at the city. He was going up the ramp, and he was going from my right to left up the ramp, which is slow because of the ramp, but it was in profile. So I had a perfect side shot. I had the widest possible side shot to hit him. Hit him as you saw, and then when four seconds on, I hit the, hit the last shot with four seconds on the clock, and my artillery has a almost five and a half second reload there was no there was no more shots i was that shot if it fails to kill him we still win but we don't qualify for that medal yeah so he's like you got it you got we got to get this guy and i fired i go i got him dude <laughs> so it was awesome so let me show you the other end of game result this is the end of game screen where you know, he scored the eight kills. 
well-deserved, you know, tremendous job as MVP. Now, I don't know what it was like over here, over him, what he was doing, because I was, I had two freaks try to kill me at my base. It's like they don't like me for some reason. Like I'm some kind of bad guy because I sit there and butcher people. He's the one who's killing all the dudes up, up close and personal. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just Robin to his Batman. But he had a phenomenal game. And I was just, you know, after I killed that, that guy that was in my face, I looked and I realized, oh, dude, we killed 10 guys. And so he killed that other guy that we saw. And then I was lucky that I was in position. He couldn't even get to that guy because he was on the other side of the square. So he was not close. And I told him, I go, I got this guy. Because it was just an absolute perfect shot going up the, the ramp. Drilled him and then, you know, reloaded, drilled him again. So just a phenomenal result. It's one of those things that it's it's ultra rare it's very hard to get it and it's a big deal if you can get it the the best thing about getting it is that you when you have it you know you've got something special because it's super difficult to get and then that one last night was awesome because that was the second time that he and I got that together and, you know, I have gotten two others, and I'll tell you the story. I had no idea that that medal existed, and neither did he, before he and I got it. Well, he knew about it literally at the end of the game when we're about to get it the first time we got the crucial contribution. I told him, I go, dude, we got 10 kills, and, and there were two guys left. We kill these guys. We're going to get the, the medal. He's like, what is that? And I had to explain to him. In the game, I'm explaining to him. And so he's like, oh, yeah, dude, let's go get it. So we got that. But he literally learned of it before the game where he earned the medal was finished. That's when he first heard of it. It's not a common medal. And I learned about it sheerly by accident. There was another guy that I was playing with. Um, this was back on the 360 and one of our other friends knows this guy. His name is Murray. Super nice guy. He was from West Virginia. He and I are goofing around one time, and he's like, man, why don't we, he's like, why don't we go play M2 Mediums? You have that, right? I'm like, yeah. Or either he asked me or I asked him, tomato, tomato. I really don't remember. It was a long time ago. It was on 360. All right. So, okay, so we, we, we played M2 Mediums, and we were rolling on the cliff metal. I mean, uh, map, sorry. Blah. So we're rolling on the cliff map, and the uh, thing is, we were running side by side. It was a Tier 3 match. We're top dogs because we're two wackos in M3. Uh, M2 Medium, sorry, M2 Medium. So we're rolling on those. We're shooting everybody we see, you know, it doesn't matter. If it moves, shoot it. All right, we shot him. Funny thing happened. He killed the first six. We're still continuing this this um, marauding spree. I killed the next six. And we're like, dude, that was awesome. And we're like, oh, this was awesome. What a great game. And then at the end of the, at the, end of the game, we got the medals. We're like, crucial contribution? What's that? So we look at the crucial contribution medal. You know, kill 12 guys in a, in a platoon. I'm like, dude, this is super rare. Because there's only 15 guys. You know, so there's three guys that you, three guys can, quote, get away. And you can get this medal. But you got to clean house, right? So the thing is, your team has to be decent, but not too good. If they're too good, they're going to kill too many and you're not going to get them. And if they're too terrible, they don't do enough damage to allow you to be in position. So you got to have to have a little bit of luck there. Your team has to be decent, not great, just decent. Then, of course, you have to be able to get the right engagements. Like, you know, Wraith was there. He's doing the bulk of the lifting because he's out there, you know, 
in the brawl. He's brawling with the guys and killing them one by one by one. Me, I'm just artillery trying to pick whatever target is available to either damage or kill. Fortunately, I killed them all. So it's one of those things. It's super hard to get. And it's one of those medals, if you get it, you can't, you, 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 you basically don't see any bad players get this medal. Unless somehow it's two great players, you know, maybe with a, a, a you know, a, a, a low, a low ranked or lower skilled player, you know, like a, like a, a dad with his kid or a, someone with their little brother or sister. That's possible. But generally speaking, when you go and get this medal, you have something because it's basically held only by butt kickers. And that's the thing. So you get it. It's a butt kickers medal. And it's an awesome medal. And I told him it was really funny because I said, I started laughing. And, and, and you know, you've just done in under two hours what people have played this game for an entire career and will never get. He had a 10 kill game. And then he followed that up within two hours with a crucial contribution, which is both of those are extremely rare. Now, the crucial contribution is even rarer than the 10 kill game. So that's the thing that was so awesome. I go, you know, I don't know what kind of cards you're going to get from your long haul, but it doesn't matter now because you're like, you've got something that money can't buy. He's like, you got that right. <laughs> so that is the story of how we got a crucial contribution at like close, it was close to midnight my time. Okay, he's on the West Coast, so it's two hours earlier for him. Not not as uh, late, but that was fantastic. And it's just one of those things that we, you know, it was just you can't predict it. It it happens when it happens, and much like the first time, I real I look at it going, hey, we got ten kills here, and so he tags that one guy for eleven, and I was able to get the twelfth one, as you saw with four seconds left on the clock before those guys uh, capture the base. I'm like, what are you geniuses up to They're capturing the base? I'm like, they had no clue. You know, they, they got their, hey, we got to win, whatever. They were happy with that. They're clueless. I'm sure not one of those guys recognizes that we got a crucial contribution because most people don't know what it is. But now you know and you've gotten the whole story. You got to see it in action. So I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you may have learned something about it. Take a shot with your boys and see if you can get one yourself. It's super hard. Um, just to let you know, my first one I told you about was a Tier 3 M2 Medium. My second one, I didn't tell you about it, but it was a Tier 6. But this was back when... You were allowed to have two artilleries in the same platoons. My my friend was an artillery. I was an artillery. And our other friend was a sniper. So he was a spotter. Every time he spotted a guy, boom, 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 it was bad news. We shredded guys because he was a uh, Jackson tank destroyer. And we were two tier six American artilleries. I think I was M44s. Um, so we were tier six on that one. And then the other two were also tier threes. So I've gotten three of these in tier threes and one in tier six with artillery. Um, but that was a twin artillery attack. So helpful hint for whatever that means to you. If that could help you get one yourself, it would be awesome. If you've gotten a crucial contribution, man, please leave a message on your telling people a comment. Tell us how you got it so people can see that you got one too. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I have a lot of other killer videos like this one, stuff you just don't see anywhere else. I'll see you guys later, and thanks again.